Well, I'm lucky enough to be standing beside a Guinness World Record holder. This is this is the uh, this is the category most drink cans hit in one minute with a flying disc. Rob McLeod, welcome. Uh, okay, so you've been dreaming about being a part of the Guinness Book of World Records for a long time, right? Yeah, ever since I was a kid, and it was always tallest person or heaviest person. And I was like, well, I don't want to do that. So it kind of went away. I didn't really know what record I could set. <laughs> so, okay, so how, when, when did you start getting into throwing discs? About 12 years ago. Um, I was going to the U of A and was living kind of outside of the city and didn't really have a sport, so I bought a disc. And started throwing. Okay, so you did you realize off the top that you were actually really, really good at this? Not in the beginning, but I don't like being not good at something, so I spent a lot of time and got good at throwing. Okay, loved it. so yeah. tell us about the process leading up to this Guinness uh, World Record. Uh, initially, I was contacted by a TV station in China who flew me over to attempt it, and I didn't actually get it there. So they recommended I come back, set the record up in Calgary, and do it in Calgary. Okay, now is this uh, what we're going to be doing this morning, or are we doing something a little bit different? We're going to do a frisbee bowling <laughs> challenge. So frisbee bowling. I'm going okay. to throw one and see how many discs or cans I can knock over, and then we'll have you throw one and see how many cans you can knock over. Because you knew that was more yeah, up my yeah. alley. Huh? <laughs> there you go. Okay, I'll, I'll see you do it. Okay. Okay. So you're sure-handed. We now we do have this pylon off, just just to let our viewers know. Uh, so I trust you. <laughs> yeah. So you just want to hit it kind of in, in the front, and then see. So that's uh, that's, that's only four. <laughs> Okay, for some surprise passers by here. Okay, so I'm gonna try. Glenn's setting up again. Uh, so the mo the idea here is to get the most, but this isn't yeah. actually what you did. No, for your world no. record. Um, it was set up across, so I had to hit one can with one disc. Okay. So here you're hitting multiple cans with one disc. And how many? What, so what's the actual? What is the record? I hit 28 you, in 20, one minute. 28 yeah. in one minute. Yeah. Okay. So you have Hang to do four. I hit four. Do I, I do I have proper form? I just you know just snap like, your just snap. straight at it. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, everybody. Oh. Is that so count? Two. Is yeah. it yeah, hitting the ground is not, yeah. is okay? So you got two. Okay, so what is the process when somebody, because uh, I know, I mean, they're very, very thorough at Guinness. Uh, yeah. You can't just say, hey, by the way, I did yeah, this. Yeah, so exactly. what, what was the process of actually sort of uh, applying and being uh, so validated? You have to film it, you have to take pictures, you have to have a timekeeper who has some sort of qualifications in timekeeping. You have to have an official in your sport. You have to have people watching the line. You have, so I had like 10 friends there. We had to sign like all these forms and paperwork and statements. And, and you said if, yeah. if the process is actually 24 hours long, say you're doing some sort of marathon, yeah. they have to watch every yeah. single frame. So if the record second. is a 24 hour attempt at standing on one foot, they literally have to watch 24 hours of video. Okay, now I understand you also do some uh, disc stuff with dogs. What yeah, do you do? I do distance competition throwing with dogs. I was in Kansas City on the weekend actually, and we set a world record in Houston in March. So, 101 yards throwing a frisbee to a dog. Okay, so you hold how many world records now? Three right now. You hold three. So, yeah. uh, and what are you aiming for? There's like 20 more that I'm going out for. 20? Yeah. And do you expect you'll be able to do that? We'll see. <laughs> what, I hope so. There's some tough ones. There's did, some really hard did you ever, I mean, how much time do you actually spend being able to, because I know you, you travel an yeah, incredible yeah, yeah. amount. Yeah. So how much time do you spend in your year doing, doing this? Doing this? The last year has been the most. Um, before that, it was kind of here and there, but every other weekend it seems like I'm away. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, we have an event that we're going to uh, tell everybody about. What is it? Yeah, I guess this weekend we have... <laughs> You're all going to find it. It's well, in my pocket. There's multiple events, I guess, yeah. Uh, this one, the hoedown and slowdown. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so <laughs> this weekend there's an ultimate frisbee tournament going on at Calgary Rugby Union. I think it's like the 26th year. It's one of the longest... It actually is the longest running tournament in Canada. So there's going to be five, 600 people playing ultimate. Open to the public to stop by and watch. And it's some of the best players in Canada who will be there. So wow. it's pretty exciting. Well, yeah. this is super interesting. Yeah. I think I'm going to try my hand once more if uh, people around here will let me. <laughs>